You can have the best music in the world and the coolest artwork for it, and people will still sleep like they're a bear in hibernation. What do you think makes people care about music? And I got a lot of responses, a lot more than I expected. First off, shouts out to Wax Wayne if you don't follow him on Twitch. And everywhere he makes and performs really beautiful music with usually a guitar and his voice and reverb and just it sounds amazing and i literally am frequently drawn to chills when listening to their music so shouts out to wax wayne who said their heart probably soul too and i said that do so that does seem like that comes through in ways that are really intangible shubu said if your music is the best and your artwork is the coolest people won't sleep on you might take time if you don't have big label bucks but consistent hardworking artists tend to find some form of success i agree with that as well also shouts out to shubu we've made some music together too if you continue to just hammer down on shit, it will work out in some way or another i have definitely had little pockets of success with things it might take time is the key word it will take more time than maybe you want and that's everything, honestly. Things take time. Change your name to Young Swift. Ha 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 ha. For me, it's like, it's that if a song happens to play in front of me, naturally heard, and I like what I hear, I will follow the artist to see what else they make. For real, for real, artists, if I gotta click the YouTube link on your profile to hear your new song, I'm not hearing it. But if you post a snippet, I will. That is how people are consuming music. The song happens to come at you, you hear it, and you go, oh, that's cool, what's that? Then you go look into it. That's what a lot of people do when they listen to music. And if you gotta click a link and go somewhere else, forget about it. You're tapped into whatever app you're into. I get that. If you post a snippet and you can press play and listen to it, boom, you have someone's ears. You have the ears part. Maybe they'll wanna go listen to it later. That's very, that's very wise in today's climate. That's pretty much all I'm figuring out is like, today's climate, what do people want? Felicia G said, cosigns. Most people can't form their own opinions. They look to others for the nod. Also very much agree with this. People definitely love a cosign. People definitely love someone else being like, yo, this person's sick or whatever. But I also have, as I said, I've had every cosign you can imagine. Someone in the chat said, Frank Ocean, he played one of my songs I produced on Blonded Radio. Like all the people I looked up to when starting to create music ended up like they, it's 4th of July, this is insane. They ended up knowing I exist or like following me or something. So like it happens. But Cosigns is not everything, it's a piece though. The artist, and then I said, what about the artist? And he said, couldn't tell you, only reason I checked out music was cause of tweets, nice. See, through Twitter, through Twitter, you look at someone's Twitter and you're like, Twitter's cool. Let me listen to the music. <laughs> Shut up! That's insane! Let's see what else, what else, what else? Marketing, apparently. Yes. Marketing is a huge part of why every major label artist is successful. It's a huge part of why people get playlisted. It's a huge part of when you see somebody really big in Times Square and you go, oh man, I'll, I guess I'll go listen to that, you know? Fucking LA. Non-musical context, unfortunately that's very true just appearance and visuals image and influence a aesthetic is more than just artwork and discoverability matters people can't fuck with it if they can't find it schmoozing deals and good marketing are part of that yeah marketing true shouts out to andy not speaking for myself but i feel like most people are attracted to an image more than the yo i'm trying to just record this image more than music yeah like, a lot of people just look at an image and they're like, they're cool, yeah, I'll listen to whatever. It's a lot of factors going into why people care about music. If other people they admire care about it. So that's how a lot, that's how I got put onto a lot of artists. It's like, bigger artists I liked, they'd shout out somebody else. And I'd be like, oh, let me check that out. You know what I mean? I think whether the listener can see a part of themselves in your work, image persona plays a huge part. Whether it's something that reflects them or something that I want to be, they'll gravitate toward it and subsequently away from it and if it and when it no longer represents them. That's interesting too. It's like they see themselves in the music. I think a six thousand dollar budget will probably get you a good amount of organic streams. Like on Insta and TikTok. Yeah, it'd be like that. Alright. And then we have some other ones. We have exposure. Yeah. General public can't decide for themselves. Most people need validation. In order someone to accept or consider listening to it, they need to see the general consensus accepting the art. So it's like everybody needs to fuck with them, and then it's like you fuck with them. Yeah, like that makes sense too. There's a lot of different factors. I'm just, we're just looking at all the factors that people say, essentially. 
you just gotta have that one song i play five times in a day and you're set forever for me unless you blow it ginormously but i think that's abnormal listening behavior maybe i don't know it's natural to only like one song and blast it a bunch i do it they have to see the humanity in it yes like we were saying that earlier taste is suggestive the biggest reason do i like it yeah two minute songs are too long you know there's a lot of things we can talk to features it's got to sound different and new hype i like finding songs i like and then listening to the rest of the album they got to feel something from the artist or band yeah so feeling connection marketing how cool they think you are versus the music yep shared participation in a common sound something about joining in a wave but pumping your your own unique filter that's cool one or two things these days laugh or cry either you make something that's hilarious that people want to share as a spectacle or you make something so genuine and real that makes people have a strong emotional bond to it either way it has to be fire true short form content and memes yeah and then i think it's you know from there you know there's a lot of things going on but i just wanted to share what i found by just tweeting that i just tweeted what do you what do you think people care about in music and that's what a bunch of random twitter users said so yeah hope you learned something i guess i don't know